protection is a system which is used to protect ships and its internal tanks from corrosion. In this system, anodes with particular properties are selected to provide corrosion protection for the entire surface selected. Let's see how this spreadsheet works. This is the introductory page which informs what this spreadsheet does, its directions for use, some assumptions and limitations of the spreadsheet, and the references used. The reference on which this spreadsheet is based is the DNV recommended practice for cathodic protection design, which is the DNV RPV 401. Basically there are two types of calculations which are being done here. One is to calculate the total mass of anodes required to protect a given surface, and the other set of calculation is to calculate the total current required. To use this spreadsheet the user needs to provide some inputs, and then based on these inputs and the formulas provided in the DNV RPB 401, the spreadsheet will do the calculations and give the final number of anodes. Let's see what the inputs are. The first input is on the environment, we need the depth of water, the temperature, whether the environment is seawater or sediments, along with the coating category, the protective potential, all these are the environment inputs. Next is the inputs on the surface area. We can enter up to 20 areas which are to be protected. The user has to provide the surface areas of each of these given areas. This may be useful when there are a number of cargo tanks which are to be protected, with different surface areas for each. Next is the input on the anode properties. The user needs to select the anode material and the type of anode. Next he needs to provide certain properties like the design life of anode, the electrochemical capacity, the geometrical properties of the anode, the mass of the anode and the density of its material. Tables and figures are provided wherever appropriate to help the user in providing these inputs. Once the user has given all the inputs, then we straight away go to the outputs. The output spreadsheet calculates the resistivity of the seawater and the resistance of the anode, which is the initial and the final resistances, and from these resistances it calculates the initial and the final current outputs of single anode. These are the outputs of the anode properties which the spreadsheet generates. Next is the output sheet on the current densities. This is basically the calculation of the current demand for cathodic protection. Based on the temperature category, the depth of water and the coating category provided by the user, the spreadsheet calculates the initial, final, and mean current densities required for cathodic protection. It also calculates the coating breakdown factors which are used for final current demand estimation. Next is the output sheet on the weight of anodes required. In this worksheet, for each of the surface areas provided by the user, the spreadsheet calculates the initial, mean, and final current demands for each surface area and sums them up to find the total initial, mean and final current demands for all the surfaces together. From the mean current demand and the design life of the anodes and its electrochemical capacity, it calculates the total weight of the anodes required for all the surfaces together. Once we have the final current demands and the final weight of the anodes required, we can calculate the total number of anodes. From the unit weight of the anode and the total weight of anodes required, we get a figure for the number of anodes required. Again, from the initial and final total current demands, and the initial and final current outputs for one single anode, we get two more figures for the number of anodes required to meet these initial and final current demands. The maximum of these three figures, the first one is the number of anodes to meet the required weight, second one is the number of anodes required to meet the initial current demand, and the third one is the number of anodes required to meet the final current demand, the maximum out of these three figures is the final total number of anodes required to protect all the surfaces from corrosion. That was about the cathodic protection design spreadsheet developed by the NavalArc.com. Please visit the website to know more about it and download it. Thank you very much.